Hello everyone. What stress strain curve? First, let us learn about stress strain curve. All the materials will react differently under a load of tension or compression. Tension or compression. The stress strain relate by conducting the tension test on standard specimens. This stress strain curve shows the behavior of the material under the tensile load. Specimens for testing will be in standard size. In standard size. As per ASTM and test will be conducted by using tensile testing machine. How the tensile testing will be conducted. This is the tensile testing machine. Tensile testing machine. This is the stand for testing. These are the two ends for gripping. These are the grippers. This is the specimen after gripping. This is the strain gauge for extension measuring. For extension measuring. For the tensile test. A standard test specimen. For testing, the load should be applied gradually. This load should be applied until the specimen gets break. Specimen gets break. Now, let us strain curve for a mild steel material. In the stress strain curve, y axis represents stress. X axis represents strain. This is the stress strain curve for mild steel. It is a ductile material. Ductile material. There are five A to E over the curve. Point A is limit of proportionality. Point B is elastic or upper yield point. Point C is lower yield point. Point D is ultimate stress point. Point E is breaking point. Breaking point in stress strain curves. First, O to A proportional limit region. This obeys Hooke's law. O to B. Is a elastic limit region. Within these region, material will regain its original shape. Its original shape from B elastic region. Let us see in detail. Point A limit of proportionality. Up to this limit, stress will vary proportional to strain. It obeys the Hooke's law. Obeys the Hooke's law. Pond B elastic upper yield point. Up to which material will regain its original shape after load removal. After this point, load starts reducing, and extension of the specimen increases. Specimen increases. Low yield point point for constant stress. Strain increases some time. Pawn D ultimate stress point. At this point, maximum stress the material can resist. From this point, cross section area reducing very fast. Reducing very fast. Point E break will gets break. The point FF. Shows the unloading behavior. Let us see the breaking nature of material, of material, for ductile material, such as mild steel, cup and cone fracture, will be appeared at the fractured surface. For brittle material, appeared, example, cast iron. At last, let us see the failure changes from ductile to brittle. If a material, highly ductile, specimen breaking, after neck forming, After neck forming, if a material specimen breaking after some necking, if a material brittle failure without any plastic deformation, thanks. All the best. All the best.